deny ya Make all the demons quiet yeah. We were built to thrive, yeah I think that we've all had enough What keeps you up at night, yeah Make all the demons quiet, yeah We were built to thrive, yeah We are starting off the show uh, very, very crazily because we have some rematches tonight from Hellfire. Not a lot of them. If anything, just probably like one. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and get tonight started with our very first match of the night. That is right. The BXC Hellfire rematch between Electrobe and Onyx. We are, ladies and gentlemen, again, welcome to PXT. We start out the night with the immortal Electro. If this is y'all's first time seeing the reason why this man is immortal, he is a triple crown champion on every wrestling promotion he has ever been a part of. He has always won the main title, the small title, and if there was another small title, he would claim that, and he would be the triple crown champion. Does he look to do that here in PXT? Who knows? But you can imagine that if he does, it will be electric. Yes, I know, I gave an electric pun. Now, also, just to let y'all know, if y'all are new viewing for PXC, the reason why there's no entrance music at all is because of copyright issues. So that is the only reason why there is no music at all for the live stream. This heads up there. Also, just realized, I gotta hit the record button. God damn, it still hurts my ears. But here he is, the Immortal Electro, the Triple Crown Champion on every promotion he's ever been a part of. Again, I know we keep saying that, but he, he it's in his contract. We had to keep saying it all this many times. It's fucking insane. But he was able to pick up a win against his opponent tonight at Hellfire. He hit an inverted talent, something we've actually never seen the man do before. It was... Honestly, jaw dropping. Hell, it knocked out Onyx. It took three of those, three to two of those kicks to actually knock out the man. It was insane. And now here comes in the Rook of PXT, Onyx. The crowd, though, the crowd witnessed his first loss in PXT. They are still behind the rookie of PXT. Onyx looking to correct a wrong that happened at Hellfire, and that was him getting pinned, him losing. Now, we... I don't believe we've actually seen these two in a one-on-one -on -one regular match, if I'm correct. I could be wrong already. Uh, it is hard to actually look back on the footage on one-on-one -on -one matches for me now, because I'm already, at this point, now about to be behind off three episodes of uh, <laughs> PXC, which one of them's already done. Uh, we're trying to upload them all at once. So heads up there. Uh, soon, in other words, the recorded version's already happening here. Just note, when this happened, we were behind on some episodes of PXT. They should all be coming out all simultaneously, uh, sometime this week, so just heads up there. Uh, the big shows, like Bio War and Hellfire, those are still going to be taking some time, so bear with us on that one. But here we are, ladies and gentlemen, the rematch of Hellfire, the Triple Crown Champion going against the Rook. Let's see what happens here tonight. Electro was going in hot and heavy, but Onyx quickly sidestepping and now, oh, getting a little bit of advantage over the Triple Crown Champion and going straight for the pin, playing a little bit of mind games with the Triple Crown Champ. Ooh. Onyx just showing some aggression. I think he's pretty pissed off of what happened at Hellfire. But even with that, Onyx showing great display of move sets against the Triple Crown Champion. But Electro now reversing with a series of elbows. Oh, 
Was taking a sweet time. Oh, big kick right there from Onyx to Electro. But Electro's not that phase. Does throw him off for a little bit. Hits a big strike to the face. Now Electro's taking control by throwing Onyx to the ropes. Going under. Now going over. What's Electro going for here? No! Hits him with a big body slam. Randy Orton would be proud. Oh, big uppercut to the rookie of PXC. Oh. Now getting flown over. Right now, the Triple Crown Champion is taking full-on control of the match. Oh, big shot right there. Big elbow. Right now, it looks like, oh, big clothesline. Oh, it was a big clothesline, but the Rook. Oh. I think he thought Electra was going to go for a clothesline, but quickly gets caught and a big Big fucking hook, man, I want to say. One! Right now, Electro is just full-on taking control of the entire match. Oh, it is! Oh! The electric talent is that enough? One! Two! No! Onyx quickly getting up. I think... No, oh, look at this. Nope. Nope. Onyx not going to allow Electro to get control. But neither is... Oh, beautiful. Beautiful moveset right there from the Triple Crown Champion. Oh, look at this. Onyx back up. I, 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 I'll be upfront and honest with y'all. I don't know what the hell we just saw. All right, we're looking at the uh, screen there. We've been noticing that we had hitting a lot of lag spikes, but look at this. Right now, the Triple Crown Champion gonna go for one. And two! And here it is, ladies and gentlemen, we are witnessing the Triple Crown! Is that enough to put away the Rook? Two! No, Onyx is still going. But right now, again, it is... The whole match has been nothing but Electro taking full-on control. And the crowd is loving it. And right now, Onyx trying to make a comeback, trying to rally back. Ooh, big kick to the back of Electro. Oh, now Electro's just getting... Getting hit left and right with big hits. Oh, I don't know what Onyx is going for there, but Electro was able to get out of it. And well, Onyx quickly hitting him with a big forearm. And now, just hitting series of strikes on the ropes. What's he going for right now? Going under... Oh wow, look at this! Great athleticism from Onyx! Displaying it to the Triple Crown Champion, but Electro has been everywhere there needs to be. Oh! Oh, look at this, I believe, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to see another! Triple! One more is, will he land the Triple Crown? And that's it for the win! Is that enough to put away Onyx? And with that, Onyx receives his second loss here in PXT. Well, it looks like he just, looks like the Triple Crown Champion himself just proved that the win at Hellfire was not a fluke. Congratulations to Electro. But now on, we are going on to our next match. Now, Bone Tubular, congratulations on becoming the new PXT champion. But it looks like he's already looking for the future. He already forgot about Rodrigo. He's already forgot about Beal Grip. He's looking at the future. And the future is Carlo Mendez. Carlo Mendez was able to win the Salvation match this past Hellfire. And because of this... Sorry, a lot of, a lot of burping. But because of his victory there, he earned himself a title opportunity at Abyss. That is our next big show. It will be happening in four weeks from now. And because of that, uh, Carl Mendes earned himself a number one contendership shot for the PXC Championship. So now it is going to be Bone Tubular and Carlo Mendes main eventing at PXC Abyss. Now, what's going to happen at Abyss? We don't know. We don't. We actually don't have any news on what Abyss is going to be. And maybe that is the fun thing about Abyss. There is so much smoke, so much fog that you can't really see what's happening. Either way. 
We're starting off the night. Look at this here, the new PXT champion. Everybody was doubting that Bone was gonna be the one to actually come out of that match as the PXT champion. But look at this, ladies and gentlemen, he is here and he is flaunting the title left and right. He is the PXT champion. And also, we gotta also say this, he is one of the first PXC Originals to, to attain the chick title. Sorry, really stuttering with my words tonight, but... Like I was saying before, you gotta give Bone Tubular props. He did the unthinkable. He went in a triple threat match between two of, if not the toughest fighters we have in PXC, and he prevailed. He had them both down. He was able to claim victory and become PXT champion. Now the question is, can he become one of, if not the longest reigning PXT champion? Because so far, so far with the first two, the title reigns will only last one month. But now, ladies and gentlemen, we are having a stipulation match. That's right. This is a stipulation match to where both men will be fighting to see what their match will be at. Abyss. Yes, I know. I feel like my whole commentary today is just terrible. And I apologize about that. But honestly, with what happened on Fortnite, it really tired me the hell out. Carlo Mendes coming in. You know, Carlo. This is something that people don't know about Carlo Mendes because it doesn't look like it. But Carlo Mendes actually gave up on his brothers and the other paid promotions a while back. They were in something similar of a Royal Rumble match, and at the end of the match, Carlo Mendes betrayed both his brothers, and sure enough, he rose to stardom. Because he is the first person I have ever met that doesn't call his title reigns title reigns. He calls them dynasties. So the question is, will we be seeing Car a dynasty from Carlo Mendez? I don't know about that tonight, but right now it looks like Carlo was trying to start up hard. But the PXC champion coming straight at it too. Going for the pin immediately. Oh, it is. Oh, Bone trying to go high, but immediately, Carlo Mendez. Oh, oh, look at that. A little bit of show of disrespect to the PXC champion. Now, the thing is, and this is true when I say this, we don't know what these two men will have in store, like, at all. Oh, look at this. Bone picking him up and then immediately going back to the ring. I don't know if that's him playing mind games or if he just wants to finish this in the ring. Oh, big elbow to the corner. Oh, but Carlo Mendez not even out of it either. Oh, hits it with a big drop kick. And now Carlo Mendez has the champ down, going with a big swing to the side of the head. And now getting countered by the PXD champion. Bone looking to go some high flying with a wheelbarrow bulldog to Carlo Mendez. Oh, big suplex from the PXD champion. And look at this, I believe, ladies and gentlemen, we might be entering Suplex City here. What happened? Give me a quick recap. All right, pretty much the only match you missed was our first match, which was the Hellfire rematch between Onyx and Electro, to where Electro proved that it was... Oh, show! Sure. Okay, that was a big reversal from Carla Mendes. To where Electro proved that the win at Hellfire was not a one-time thing. And he was able to win it. Oh! Big Shining Wizard from the challenger to the champ! Could this be Carlo Mendes' opportunity? No, this isn't a title match. This is a stipulation match. To see what their match will be at, at Abyss. Oh shit, oh shit! Oh, Total Nightfall! He just hit Total Nightfall on Bow Tubular! Is that enough to put him down? Holy shit! I'll be completely honest with you, ladies and gents. I did not ever expect to see Carlo Mendes hit a total nightfall. Oh, big shot right there with a big elbow drop. And now Carlo Mendes is filling it. Carlo Mendes is ready to go. 
Oh, big crossbow. Oh, but Bone catching it and dropping him straight down. Oh, look at this. Oh, my God. Honestly, between all the competitors that have gone against Bone, I don't think we've seen anybody reverse the wheelbarrow as much as we're seeing Carlo Mendez. So Carlo Mendez has probably been doing his homework on the new PXT champion. So originally, and yes, I will point this out, originally what was going to happen tonight was a title rematch between Bone Tubular and Buell Grip, but because Rodrigo decided to talk, oh, big suplex on the outside, because Rodrigo decided to talk, apparently that is no longer happening because even Rodrigo pointed out that he did not get a rematch clause match, the one-on-one -on -one rematch for the PXC Championship. So because of that, them two will now be fighting at Abyss in a mystery match. In other words, it will be a surprise match. That is the whole thing about Abyss. Only a few matches will be confirmed. Every other match will be a randomized match. That's what makes it even more scary. Well, Amanda's is trying to do, I don't know, I guess trying to do it. Oh, look at that standing shooting star. Right now, I, honestly, I don't even know what's going on with this match right now. They're going in and out. <laughs> I think Carlo was trying to get out again, just trying to play some mind games against the PXT champion. And it looks like might have worked. No. Bone quickly reversing it. Even though I haven't seen much of what Mendez, much as Mendez, I have seen Bone. Bone will definitely win since he's the champ. Now, see, this is something I've been pointing, or I wanted to point out. Maybe our title's cursed, because every champion that's ever had it has actually entered a losing streak, and then only holds the title for a month. It happened with Rodrigo, then it happened with Bugrip. Could that happen here tonight? <laughs> Damn, that was a big bulldog from the PXC champion. Is it enough to put away Carlo Mendez, though? Two, no. Nowhere close enough right now. Oh, look at this. I believe we're about to see Skull Crusher. Is it enough to put away Carlo Mendez? One, two, no. Carlo is still going. Oh, I think we're about to see another Skull Crusher. There it is. Two Skull Crushers back to back. Is it another put away? Mendez, and yes, it is. Well, there you go. It looks like Bone might actually be trying to put away the so-called curse of the PXC Championship. And also, I do also want to point this out here, too. Carlo Mendes has not won one single match. Oh, wait, no, yeah, he did. Wait, 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 hold on, wait a minute. That made no sense. Yeah, he did win a match. I did not update the book then. Holy shit. I thought I did. Oh, well. Holy shit, though. Bone, Bone showing already being a dominant champion and also putting rumors to rest about the whole curse of the title and everything like that with picking up a big victory against Carlo Mendes. And with this said, now Bone Tubular can actually choose what the title match is going to be at Abyss. By the way, congratulations to Bone Tubular. Now... On to our next match. Our next match is actually very interesting with a story because we just heard it in the back today. Apparently, at the main event of Hellfire, things didn't go as planned uh, for Super, in other words. So originally, because we had saw that Super and Ace were sort of working together, which means Super was probably looking to work with the Syndicate. But because of what happened at Hellfire to where nobody was there at ringside to help him out because they both got dismantled by the Brotherhood, because of that, Super is pissed. And I mean absolutely pissed. So, Satoshi has told who else to deal with Super. That is right. So tonight, ladies and gentlemen, it is Ace going one-on-one -on -one against Super. Uh, the other guys, they still watch, but they watch the recorded ones, or the, not even the recorded, the edited down ones, because they like seeing the entrances and stuff like that. Man, honestly, at this point, with Ace, I think he has gotten the absolute 
shit end of the stick when it comes to his career here at PXT. He was hoping to come in and actually take full on control of PXT and cement his actual skills here in PXT. The thing is though, he has been struggling to take off and I mean that, he has really been struggling to take off because he has been tied down to Satoshi because of their stipulation at BioWar. Wait, was it at BioWar? It was at BioWar. And because of this, now he's just stuck being Satoshi's lackey. There's really nothing he can do. And now, I mean, he's been... Honestly, even like, what was it? Was it last? No, it was two weeks ago when he went against C. Jill. C. Jill dismantled Ace. And then after that, Ace also got pinned at Hellfire. No one cares about Ace. He's a nobody, but Super, it's in his name. He's Super. He's the best. That's, I mean, he was the only one to actually push C. Jill to his limits, so I will give you that. Super is irate, if anything. <laughs> He wasn't able to pick up the win against the PXC YouTube champion. He he got the shit end of a stick deal with Satoshi. And now he's looking to gain a little bit of payback, if you will. Now the question is... What is going to happen after this? Like, uh, what, what happens if Super wins? What happens if he loses, you know? Like, that, that's that's something we really got to wonder. Because who knows if this is actually going to satisfy him? What if he wants to actually get his hands on Satoshi? Which, if that's the case, Satoshi's fucked. <laughs> Super looks absolutely pissed. That's the past, no one cares about that. He's the best, him, and another large man who chops down trees. That would be a dominant force to PXT. I agree on that, actually. Anything? Yeah, no problem. Right now, oh, look at this, oh, wow. Ace already has Super rolling on the ground and everything, holy crap. But Super quickly showing pure power and dominance against Ace. Oh, big punch there. But now Super got him up and oh, just tosses Ace across the ring. Super now just working on the shoulder blade of Ace, looking to put him, uh, put him through hell if anything, not even put him down. Oh, right now I think Super just wants to work out a lot of stuff right now, and I, I mean that because, like I said, didn't get a good deal out of the deal he made with Satoshi, and then not just that, he sort of got screwed. I will ace pull a Shawn Michaels and just overall everything. <laughs> what? Uh, oversell everything? Oh, maybe. <laughs> oh, look at this. Ace going for the pin, but quickly gets reversed. Well, not reversed. Quickly gets kicked out in. Oh, what the? What the? Okay, why? I don't know what happened there, but somehow he changed his trajectory and everything, and out of nowhere, he just hits fucking super. <laughs> right now, I gotta admit, Ace is actually doing pretty good against super. I didn't even expect this. Oh, shit. It's... I believe super's laughing? Was he laughing that he got hit? What the fuck? If I said the entire card and so B or B, maybe, I'm not sure. I don't think I did say the entire card. I know I said a few. Oh my God, Super just throwing Ace over the ropes. Oh, look at that. Oh, Ace just getting trucked by Super Super again. Now, I think he finally put the brakes on. Oh my God. Big chop to the head of Ace, and now Super looking for the big move, the Super Yaranagi! Is it enough to put him down the kid? Is it enough? No. Ace is still going. Holy fuck. Uh oh. And it looks like Super is going to the top. 
Oh, I think he's going to go for top rope. Joe was going for a top rope chop, but quickly gets dodged by Ace. And now Ace is taking control, attacking the shoulder. Oh, and attacking the arm a little bit as well. Probably looking to hurt the arm to stop the chops. But as I said before, these, these guys got to understand, if it's a giant, take out the legs. That's okay. I like going in blind. Big Super needs to put in, put in an asylum. Super needs to be put in an asylum? Maybe. Uh oh. Again, honestly, I swear, I don't know what's wrong with these youngins just coming in here thinking, I can take him on. I don't need to take out his legs. Take out his legs! <laughs> Is the only way you're gonna well break fucking clothesline from Super. Oh my god. Super is just just decimating the ace at this point. Holy crap. And go! Oh, now gets hit with a big brute. I think I think Ace is just I think he's just dead at this point. Wait, oh no! Ace still having some fight in him. Got super in the corner. Oh wow. Has enough strength to lift up the seven footer. Oh, but oh super's not gonna have it. Not the same asylum that Mox was put in. I mean, well, yeah, fair point. <laughs> Here it is, one. No, quickly gets kicked out. Super, Super's still getting up pretty quick. Not a lot of damage has been done to Super. To whereas Ace, Ace has been taking a good sum of damage. Oh, Bud gets him with a big kick, and now Super is down. Big Ace looking to go for a shoulder tackle to the seven foot giant. Right now, Ace is looking to just gain control and now looking to deal some damage. I believe he's getting fired up. But Super still up. I wouldn't get fired up so soon. The seven foot giant is still up. Oh, he was almost about to hit the super kick, but quickly. I think he just wasn't really doing the math in his head. Okay, I want to point out, Super knows about that damn fucking move. He got hit with it so many times against the kid, so he knows that move well and out. <laughs> oh shit, Super got Ace up, but Ace quickly coming in and now, now goes for the legs. I think he's trying to set up the Memento Mori, but somehow he, want, he wants Super just to be down for it. Oh, beautiful move. Oh, what's this? What's this? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. Oh, okay. I thought we were about to see the people's elbow. I was about to be like, oh, shit. Calling shots. I was just about to say that. Nah, you good. <laughs> Holy shit. And oh, a standing, standing shooting star press. And it looks like he's ready to hit. Oh, here it is. Oh, misses the big clothesline. Man, he, I think, I think Ace just, just, just too disoriented to even do the math at this point because he's just missing everything. Oh, big boo right there. And right now, it looks like Super might might be going in for the kill. The Super Yuranagi! Is that enough? One, two, no! What the fuck? Ace is still going! Everyone in the crowd is saying one more time. Holy shit, Ace is still going. Oh, what's this? Oh! Beautiful bulldog! Oh! Got him with a big shotgun drop kick, and now Super is in the corner. He's seven foot tall giant. How how do you miss a springboard? That's a great question. <laughs> like I said, I think he's just, just too disoriented to even like realize how far away he is for the moves. It's the only thing I can say. Right now. Right now, though, again, Super has control, but I think even Super's questioning what he has to do against this guy. Like, holy crap, I think Super was thinking this was going to be an easy match, but crap, Ace isn't giving up! Ace is still going! I don't know how, but he's still going! Oh! 
Gets hit with that flat line type move. Is it enough, though? I think he wants to go for Mental Mori to put down the seven foot giant, but he wants him to be completely down to be sure he's gonna connect. Oh, big shot there! Right now, Ace is do Ace is Ace is going far beyond right now. I'm actually impressed on how much he is doing in this match against the seven foot giant. Oh, big kick to the back. And again, again, I had to point that out. Super's been caught in that move way too many times. Oh, wait, is that enough? No way. Wow. I, I think that, I think he just knocked the wind out of him. Because to be fair, I think he was on his last, like, effort. But Super picks up the win. Either way, congratulations to the seven foot giant. But now the question is, is he satisfied? <laughs> But now, on to our next match. It is Bugrip versus Rodrigo. Now, originally what was gonna happen tonight was Bugrip was gonna get his one-on-one -on -one title rematch. But Rodrigo came into the back as well and told us how come he didn't get a one-on-one -on -one rematch? This is bullshit. And you know what? He had a point. Uh, we didn't give Rodrigo a one-on-one -on -one rematch for the PXT Championship. If we did that night, technically, Rodrigo would have still been the PXT Champion. But that is not what happened. So because of that, we have decided that if they want this to actually happen on who's going to get the title shot next, we told them that it's going to get squashed. This whole shit that these two men have been a part of for the past now three months is going to get squashed at PXT Abyss. That's right. So they're going to be going in a series of matches and whoever the hell wins at Abyss just in general will be the number one contender for the PXT Championship. Starting to get sick of these two fighting. Honestly, I don't blame you. That is the only reason I said these things getting squashed out of this. Because honestly, I think if we just let it keep on happening, these two are not going to stop. <laughs> they are literally not going to stop. <laughs> but at this point, it makes sense. Bugrip got cheated out of his match because who got pinned? Who got pinned at Hellfire? Rodrigo. He didn't lose his title technically. That is what Bugrip has been saying to everybody in the pat in the back is that he didn't lose his title. Rodrigo lost two title matches, which in this case is somewhat true. And again, he just lost the title that he didn't even lose for. Like he didn't get pinned for the championship. That's why we were going to give him a title rematch tonight because technically he didn't get pinned, but Rodrigo, again being Rodrigo, just want to do it. Yeah, 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 blah, 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 that doesn't matter. He still lost, get over it. That is true. That is true. <laughs> but either way, it's, it's still going to be finished at Abyss, sadly. Honestly, I would like to see this rivalry be squashed as well, but sadly because of what even happened, it was almost impossible for these two to even like let it go. Because it sucks too, because I think these two could actually change up the whole thing as well. I mean, this one to be quick, to be honest. How does that? I don't blame you. Yeah, because honestly, sort of same deal with, what was it, even Abcole and Adonis? Because them two only kept on fighting each other, and that's how they were just racking up wins on their record. And that's pretty much what both these men are doing. But even when you look at it as well, if you do actually look at it, <laughs> technically, both men have the same record against each other. They're, they're even. Because Rodrigo lost almost every match when he was a title holder. Bugrip lost almost every match when he was a title holder. So that's where technically I think these guys are just polar opposites that just cannot, like, end it. <laughs> that or they just don't want to end it. Or they don't know how to end it. 
personally, and I do mean this, I think it'd be pretty cool to see Rodrigo go against one, more people on PXT. So that's why I'm actually looking forward for this, just for this rivalry, to be done and over with. So then the rivalry can be lost in the abyss. Never to be seen again, maybe, hopefully. One gets a win, then the other gets a win out of this. Oh, maybe. Man, honestly, just thinking about it too. If you really did think about it, it was technically going to be history making no matter what at Hellfire. Mainly because if Beelgrip had won, he would have been technically considered the longest running uh, PXC champion. Bone would have been just a new champion. And then Rodrigo would have been the first ever two time PXC champion. There it is. Right now, Rodrigo's already getting full advantage. I think right now, I don't know I don't know how both men feel. If anything, I know they both feel pissed, but here's the thing. If you really think about it, Beelgrip, is he just, like, out? Like, it, he didn't have no momentum going into Hellfire. Not just that, he lost the title. Not actually getting pinned for it, but he still lost the title. They already have a history making rivalries just stop. I'm just, I'm just saying, man. <laughs> now Beugrip's still trying to get to crew up again. Both men just knowing each other well out and in. Now, right now, Beugrip's just taking control. He's going back up, going with a bigger punch. And now, oh, twisting neck breaker. Ooh, big knee drop to the face of Rodrigo. And uh, oh, going for another one. Yeah, also, even the crowd in PXC doesn't even sound that excited about this match happening. Again. Oh, did it well. Uh, 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 I don't even know what happened there. Oh, another strip. Well, it looks like, looks like Bugrips is taking control. <laughs> Blue Menace isn't even doing anything at this point. Ooh. Right now, Beogrip's just full on taking control of the match. Rodrigo's not even oh doing anything. He gets caught with a lift up. Beogrip, is that about to be it? <laughs> oh! Did we just see a squash match? Oh shit! <laughs> I, I legit thought we were just about to see a squash match. Oh, I think Beer Grips. Well, Rodrigo's not happy with it. Holy shit. He got a signature pretty fucking quick there. Huh. If you're looking, if you're thinking about this, somehow, somehow he's doing better without the title. <laughs> oh my god. They've run out of surprises to hit each other with. Yeah, no, I think that is true. I think, honestly, they just already know each other left and right. It's practically a John Cena versus Randy Orton. Not as intensified between as them two, but they know each other's shit. <laughs> the curse is true. I, I really think it is. Oh, big Samoan drop. I'm really thinking it is because, holy shit, this is... Because when Rodrigo had it, he sucked ass. When Bugle had it, he sucked ass. Now both men don't have it. Who's really the better one without the curse? That's what this match is for. <laughs> oh man, that's crazy. I swear to God, this ends in ring out count or like a draw and shit. That would be beautiful. <laughs> It'd be beautiful because then I could choose the title. Oh, I could just choose the match. It'll just be an abyss match. We will know what it is. Ooh, big shot right there. Oh, uh, what? I don't even know what happened. And they know each other that well, they would make a great tag team. Honestly, that's what I think would be pretty cool too. I think 
if anything, if the tag team thing did happen and we did do it the way uh, to where it was randomly drawn and these two actually got picked as a team, I think that'd be fantastic, honestly. But at the same time, if we do think about it, would they turn into a thing of Sheamus and Cesaro? Or would they just hate each other and just lose every match? That's that's the real question there. I think it would be a cool idea, though. A bit clothesline to the corner. Right now, it is... Right now... Honestly, it has been switching back and forth. Uh-oh. Damn, you want know what I just realized? I don't think... <laughs> I don't think... Did B Rodrigo hit the lava latch at all at Hellfire? I don't even think he ever hit it. <laughs> See, we already know these guys well enough. We already know that he, that's not going to be enough to put him down. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, they know each other well enough to where Rodrigo's just saying, screw it. Oh. Oh, shit. We haven't realized it's super excited for the tag division. <laughs> There is another Beal Grip. Is it not enough to put away the Blue Menace? Of course. No, it's not. This <laughs> is turning into AEW. Every time they hit the thing, we already know it's not it. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a lie. AEW still like, holy shit, what the fuck? I'll give them that. Because I, uh, I watched this past week's of MJF versus Samoa Joe. Great fucking match, by the way. Rodrigo going to the top rope, looking for something. I don't think he did neither. Did Shane and wait? What the fuck? Did I just see that right? What just happened? <laughs> I, I actually see that right. What what just happened? Well, I don't know what happened. <laughs> I don't know why. For some reason, on my side, it looked like. It was a kip up, but then it wasn't a kip up, and then it was something else. What the? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, uh. The curse is real! They're flying and shit! <laughs> you almost sold the shit out of that power slap, yeah. God damn. And now, oh, we're rolling! I don't know what to call it at this point. I was like, because <laughs> I'll admit, I am tired of these two fighting. But at this point, it, it made sense for them to have one last go. Oh, wow. Rodri Rodrigo realized they were at a count of nine, goes in to break up the count. God damn it. Like I said, it would have been poetic if it ended in a count out, because then I could just choose whatever match. Ooh, big shot there. I I don't I don't know what happened there. Right now we're at a count of four. Bugrip's Grip's getting control. Bugrip Grip getting him and now dropping down for the big DDT right there. I know we haven't been really calling the match that well. It's mainly because we've already seen these two fight numerous times, and I do agree that it has gone on a little bit too long. Uh if anything. The only reason it's continuing is because both men technically <laughs> technically have not got a rematch clauses. So it makes sense. Gets hit with the discus. Is that enough to put Pew Grip down? Oh, God. Son of a bitch. <laughs> and the match. God damn it. We know you hate each other. Just drop it and go to a draw. I know. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. He dodged it. And oh, big neck breaker there. And now sweeping the leg. Man, I, I gotta give them this. They don't want. They don't want the other to win. Oh, I believe that's the third view grip. That has to be it. One, two. Shit, maybe there is a curse on their championship. What the fuck? <laughs> Cause that was his first win in like a month, dude. What the fuck is that? Is our title actually cursed? Son of a bitch. On to our next match of the night. So, as we can all tell, uh, Shane Henry has um not not not, not had a not had a good uh, not had a good draw right now, but. He wants to shut people up. 
That's what he wants to do. He wants to shut people up. And right now, Jack Flo apparently was was talking a little bit of trash. <laughs> little bit of trash. And Shay was like, well, if you think you're so good, how about me and you go to the ring one-on-one, -on -one, see how you deal. And that's what's going to be happening here tonight. That's right. Our next match of the night, it is Shane Henry versus Jack Flo. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I can only imagine how Shane is feeling. Mainly because he was, God, honestly, so close with Hellfire's match, by the way. Very close. Wait, what? Wait, what? So instinctive and so passionate Every word I move so Hold on I got a vendetta against people who patented Being negative when you should be getting after it I actually don't even know what's going on right now This wasn't what, what we discussed Shane Video game Shane And we made like all these documents and everything for him to come out in the audience What just happened? We, we just wasted We wasted so much cash No! <laughs> I actually don't know what happened with the entrance. Or well, is this the entrance that... Oh! Oh, I think it's because of the arena. I think that's what it is. Gotcha. Okay. No, I don't see why, but I think it's because of the arena. Yeah, okay, okay. That's, that's where I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. It's weird too, because this is like a basic arena, so it should work, but I, I don't know. I don't know how this works. I guess I don't want to stay in shit. <laughs> oh, it's probably because of the outside stuff, like the outside area. Maybe that's why. It's just the brothers match. No heat, just brotherly love. Here is Jack Flo. Jack Flo had an interesting debut in PXT. He went against the Lumberjack himself. Looks like Jack's start. God damn, god damn, he looks demonic there. <laughs> His eyes made him look demonic there. Holy shit. As you can see, Jack's starting to feel the Flow. He was squashed. I wouldn't say that because he was fighting his own. Like he was holding his own off against him. But nah, I, I could see where people were thinking like he got squashed. But now the question is, can he display more here against Shane? That that is a question. Right now, he wants the whole crowd to feel the flow like he does. That's why he's practically conducting at this point. He feels a flow. And he wants everyone else to feel it here tonight. God damn, he does feel the flow. Holy shit. My god. <laughs> <laughs> the stare down. Who will blink first? Jack Flo or you? <laughs> God damn. Here it is, Jack Flo going one on one against Shane. Here the old big clothesline. Shane starting off pretty hot, but Jack's not taking it either. Oh, going in with a big shoulder tackle. Now, no, for people who don't know, uh, both these men are actually brothers, so this is this is brotherly love. But also, you can see that they are total opposites. Obviously, one being dark and brooding, the other one being all about, well, I guess, flo uh, well, really about, I guess, flowing in general. Oh, big move right there. Big kick to the face. Right now, Jack is taking full control in the match. <laughs> oh, and that was enough to get Jack Fly. Oh! Jack going in with a suicide dive on Shane! My god. And now Jack is just. Holy shit. 
Dax working on the arm of Shane. Honestly, not a bad idea. But Shane, Shane can hit pretty hard. Oh, 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 look at that. Look at that. It shows their brothers. Both men thought to jump at each other. <laughs> oh, big suplex. Now, Jack. Oh, I think Jack's realizing that he didn't show everything he got last week against the Lumberjack. So now he realizes he needs to show everybody why he's here at PXC. And give everyone what the. What the. What the what, He was feeling the flow so much, he <laughs> he changed the trajectory of how he was going to hit the move. <laughs> this man's otherworldly. <laughs> oh, I love games. <laughs> oh, wow. Again, honestly, damn. Jack is, Jack is taking a good number of control in the match. Really sending Shane. They're just keeping Shane on the outside. Oh, but look at this, Shane. Now getting Jack up and dropping a face first onto the apron. Uh oh, oh, Shane. Shane going for a sense screen. Sound, oh, beautiful move there. I have done this time, not gonna lie. No, I, yeah. <laughs> Shane throwing Jack back in, and I believe, was that, that just to make sure, that was a sense screen, right? <laughs> I know we changed moves here, so that's why. Oh, there's a lot of stuff we gotta rename. <laughs> oh, big reversal right there. Now the match is happening again on the inside. Shane looking to gain back the momentum, gain back the control of the match, but oh, Jack's not even gonna let that slide. Jack's still going. Oh, that was move le move thief. Gotcha. Move theft. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, big shot there. Shane's. Oh, big punch to the face of Jack, setting him just straight up in the corner. Look at this, Shane just working on the arm. Again, big gut shot. Shane Jack going in. Oh, beautiful kick. Catching Jack off guard. Oh! Man, I really gotta remember these moves. <laughs> My memory is turning into the dog. Oh, big stop to the back of the head of Jack. One, two, no, Jack is still going. Holy shit. The silencer? Yeah, shit. That. I can see why it's called the silencer. Holy mother. Oh. Okay, that was a pretty good suplex right there. Holy shit. Look at this. Again, Jack just feeling the flow. Oh, right there again with another suicide dive to the outside. I will say this. Oh. Beautiful shot again. Jack, I gotta give Jack props on this. He is actually doing exceptionally well against Shane. Shane has been able to hold off his own against a Triple Crown champion. Is able to hold his own against even the self-proclaimed god of wrestling, Jake Lawler. He has been able to hold his own. So, with that being said, with Jack pushing Shane a little bit to his limit, little bit to his limit, it has to be commended. Oh, but look at this. Oh, beautiful shot right there from Shane. Is that a put Jack away? No, Jack is still going. And oh, that was Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Here it is. One, two, no. The crowd saying one more time though right now. It looks like these two are stealing the show here tonight. Everyone's saying one more time. They want this to go on. Actual Lord is really funny to me with Jack targeting Shane's arm. My brother named Jack. Oh wow. <laughs> that's that's fucking awesome, actually. <laughs> looks like oh 
Oh, look at that. Oh! Oh, I believe that was going to be flow in motion, but a flow of motion, but doesn't get it. And now just goes straight to an arm bar. But Shane's, <laughs> Shane's legs are too close to the ropes. I don't think Jack's realizing that. Oh, look at this. Beautiful! Beautiful backflip into a suplex. Man, right now. It looks like Jack's looking to just re-break the arm of Shane at this point. <laughs> he's like, he's done it once. He'll do it again. Oh! Beautiful shot there. Now a big kick to the cross the face of Shane. I gotta get props on this match. This match is more like back and forth. Oh! Only getting a two count on Shane. Right now, Jack is... Like I said, this match has been going back and forth, so it's hard to say who really has the upper hand. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at this. Oh, big shots. Big shots right here from Jack. Oh! Hits with a leg sweep and quickly Shane rolls out and Shane trying to get fired up from the crowd, but Jack saying, fuck that, you get back in there! Oh, here it is. Oh! There it, here it is, ladies and gentlemen! Flow of motion! Flow of motion! But Shane quickly gets out of it! <laughs> to see them as a tag team, they were forced to be reckoned with in Japan. Honestly, at this point, I think it would be pretty cool to see these two against the Brotherhood. <laughs> and oh! <gasps> That's the screen. Is that enough to put down Jack? No. Oh my God. How? How? <laughs> Holy shit. These two are stealing the show here tonight. Brotherly. There's a war of brothers at this point. Neither one wanting to give in. Holy shit. Shane has practically hit everything against Jack, and Jack did the same to Shane, and somehow both men do not want to give in. This is insane. Oh! He gets hit on the outside. He needs to hit that move on the inside if he wants a chance to win. Oh! Gets hit with a big DDT from Jack and Shane. Not everything, just wait. Uh oh. Oh, Jack throwing Shane back in. Is it enough? Is that enough to put Shane down? Oh, okay, yes, it was. Honestly, the holy shit. <laughs> God damn. That was a match, and Jack was able to show away that he has more in store. Five star match of the night. That is what I'm going to say. That was the best match of the night. But now on to our next match. It is the kid. Uh, how, how, do I, how do I say this? Pretty much the kid, uh, as, as we all know, has been pretty much whining and complaining this entire time. And apparently he's been whining and complaining again about his uh, match at Sal or Hellfire, the Salvation match. And how Carlo only won because of a fluke, da 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 da. And he demanded a match and just lo and behold, the lumberjack came in and was asking, who, what was this bitch moaning about? So, the kid got offended, and he already said he could, he thought he took out one giant, he can do it again here tonight. So that is why, tonight it is the kid versus the lumberjack. There he is, the Galactic Kid himself. Now, the kid started off his career here at PXT pretty strong. Yeah, bless me with the show tonight. Hey, we gotta see more of what these two men can do. And that's what we just saw tonight with Jack Flo putting off a five-star match against Shane. And either way, like I said, holy crap, they put out a five-star match. That was badass. But now... Like as I, as I was saying with the kid, the kid started off PXT on fire. He was almost unbeatable, but sadly, him losing the one title opportunity has turned him into nothing more of an absolute crybaby. 
He thinks he earns this. He thinks he deserves this, that, this, this, that. But he hasn't even shown one lick of his former self when he started off here in PXT. Holy shit. The mountain's already being moved. The man's not even here yet. Oh, there he is. Ah! <laughs> The Lumberjack has came in. Also, it's technically the Lumberjack versus the Lumberjack. What? <laughs> also, it's technically the Lumberjack versus the Lumberjack. The Lumber. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm a little confused with that one. <laughs> anyway, we show. The Lumberjack was able to show pure dominance against Jack last week, but as what was said, even by the kid, it's actually true. The kid was able to full-on destroy Super in one-on-one -on -one action. Not once, I believe actually twice, uh, them two went against each other, and the kid showed that it wasn't a fluke. He was able to take out a giant. So now the question is, can the kid put a stop to the Lumberjack? That is the question. I gave the kid the nickname of the Lumberjack and now I'm actually a character. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. That, oh yeah, I do remember that now. <laughs> now he's fighting the, the Lumberjack. The question is, who's gonna die? I mean, uh, there's the Lumberjack going to, oh, no, yeah, it's, 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 if, it's if the kid's gonna die here tonight. <laughs> As we said before, the kids, the kids actually face his fair share of giants, but now the question is, can he take on someone like the Lumberjack, who again showed pure dominance in his division match against Jack? The kid will die, maybe. Oh! Big boot to the Lumberjack already starting off, but quickly the Lumberjack's not letting the kid take advantage. Oh! This is the big elbow to the corner, but look at that! The kid catching him in a jumping neck breaker! Big rolling neck breaker there. Honestly, one thing I do gotta say too, I think finally, and this should happen, is I would love to see the kid and maybe G7 do something, even either together or finally get some type of leeway with title matches. Because holy crap, I feel like them would be absolutely exceptional in the title divisions. But right now, they just God have not been winning. My God, he's actually he's actually really doing a number to the lumberjack. God, maybe the kid wasn't all talk. <laughs> There's a reason he's an outlaw. There's a reason he's small, but he talks a lot of shit. It's probably because he can back it the fuck up. <laughs> hey, oh, but look at this. Oh, now the lumberjack looking to gain control. And listen up. Oh, big slam. Oh, big leg drop. Oh, I thought we were going to see a pin there, but it immediately gets up. Oh. This is that leg drop and the kid going in with a big drop kick right now. The kid's doing God. Okay, I'm more impressed. The kid's doing exceptional at this point. Oh, oh, I believe he's gonna go for the double barrel there, but quickly misses. And the lumberjack is now taking advantage. Oh, big clothesline from the kid. The kid's up top. Now the question is, what's he gonna go for? Oh, he's going for a double axe handle from the top rope, but misses it immediately. And now, oh, drops the kid face first onto the apron. And right now, again, the Lumberjack just purely taking control. Oh shit, listen up and oh shit, dropping him. Dropping a hard full body for a spine buster. How the kid's not dead already? I have no idea. Oh, big leg drop again. Like the lumberjacks just at least now playing with his food, but the kid's not gonna even take it. That's why at least two of my characters win. Be honestly, that'd be pretty cool. Oh, look at this. 
Lumberjacks up top and going in for a big elbow drop to the back of the kid. But the, uh, the kid still gets up. Oh, I think, oh, I think we're about to see a big move from the Lumberjack. But the kid reverses and now goes with a pin thinking that might have been enough. But only gets a one count. The Lumberjack still has a chance. Really? Oh, oh, oh. That was the cosmic knee. Oh. We were about to see. Shooting Comet. Is that enough to put away the Lumberjack? One. Two. No. Lumberjack quickly kicks out. Holy shit. He got hit with the cosmic knee and the shooting Comet. My god, maybe the kid, maybe the kid isn't all talk. Oh, big clothesline. That was a swirling lumber. Holy shit. That another put the kid down. No, the kid is still going. Oh, okay, all the lumberjack realizes where the kid was rolling out to and goes in to follow. Honestly, maybe at this point. But even then, even with that said, both men have done a number with their finishers at this point. So really the match is whoever's at this point. Now, unless somebody can hit their finisher a second time, then I would say that they have the advantage. Even with that said though, it looks like the Lumberjack is just now full on toying with the kid. Holy shit. He just tossed him like paper. Oh, big shots there. Very big, big shots there. And the Lumberjack going in the ring and just showing pure dominance. Showing that he's standing tall over the kid. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh! I couldn't see it well enough, but hopefully the back of his head didn't hit the apron. Ay ay ay! Looks like the Lumberjacks going in with a timber to the kid. Is that enough? One, two, no. The kid is still going. Holy shit. Oh, the kid looking to rally. The kid looking to rally against the Lumberjack. Oh. The kid's going, is that another put the Lumberjack down and give him his first loss here, PXC? No! My god, I got... I have no idea how he survived Timber. I'm actually more impressed than anything right now. I'm like, what the fuck? This, right now, Lumberjack's still going. The kid somehow... Oh, this is a big punch, though. Now is that gonna cost him? Oh! Gets caught with a jumping neck breaker! Holy shit! Is the goal! Big fist to the bottom right now, the kids. I gotta again give props. The kid is doing exceptionally well. Did not experience this. Oh! That's a cosmic knee! Is that enough to put the lumberjack down? No! He's still going too! Oh, but look at this, the kid has done enough damage to get the Lumberjack rolling out. But gets caught in a double axe handle on the outside. Holy shit, the kid. I think mean, even the kid's wondering what he has to do. What does he need to do to put down the Lumberjack? Going for a big elbow, but misses in the Lumberjack now back up. Lumberjack's looking to just get the kid back in the ring. Wally has an answer to this match, maybe. <laughs> oh, oh, we're about to see here again. Oh, a big power bomb! Bad placement right there. I'm mad, like genuinely annoyed. <laughs> I honestly don't even blame you. I don't understand how the kid is still going. It's insane. Oh, he misses another big punch. Again, is the kid gonna capitalize on this? Gets a big clothesline. And now the kid looking to do some big haymakers to the face of the Lumberjack. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh! That was a quick maneuver right there. And oh, is the kid going to go for it? Is he going for a shooting comet? Holy shit, is that enough? One, two, three. And with that, the kid puts down the Lumberjack. 
My God! Yeah, I didn't give him that loss either. What the fuck? I have to be look at my stuff. Oh, and that he gives the lumberjack his first loss of PXT. Holy shit! Honestly, goddamn. Holy shit. I'm genuinely shocked. <laughs> Damn. Holy shit. Congratulations to the kid on taking down the lumberjack. I honestly don't even know how the fuck he did that. Holy shit. But either way, unfair. There was a low blow while everyone was bleeding. <laughs> So Jill did see the match at Hellfire and is actually thinking that Jake Lawler might be a worthy opponent. To where not only did he have to go to the limit, but he believes that he can push himself to see Jill's limit. So tonight, see Jill actually is showing up here at PXT and he's going one-on-one -on -one against Jake Lawler for the main event of PXT. Oh, look at that. Oh, Lawler. Okay, Lawler. Looks like C. Jill's actually trying to play a little bit of some mind games, but Lawler's not going to take that. Lawler wants to actually put a, put a one to that lose record of his. Oh! Catch a CG with the big knee! I think Lawler realizes that he's gonna have to go full on 100% if he wants to even put a one to the losing record of CG, but CG's not even showing up here! Holy shit! This is this is CG's normal matches, by the way! Just showing and displaying nothing but pure dominance! He is a pure hybrid of pure powerhouse and striking, and he's showing it here tonight. Oh my God. Look at this. Lawler was coming in full on hot and heavy, ready to probably put it down. He's so big, but so fast. Honestly, that's the crazy thing. <laughs> oh. He is by far, one, if not, one of the most versatile fighters I see. Because I won't even lie to y'all. I 100% thought that Super was going to put him down. But somehow, C. Jill is just surprising everybody. And right now, he's actually embarrassing the self-proclaimed god of PXT. Lawler only did a big knee at the beginning. And now it has been nothing but C. Jill. Look at this, now looking to make a comeback, comes in with a big forearm to the face of the YouTube champion. And look at this, Lawler looking to probably wear down the champ as much as possible. But C. Jill knows it well enough and quickly gets out of the maneuver. Oh, gets caught with a big knee. Like it's, oh, look at this, Lawler. Lawler's at this point just running, I think. I don't know what to say. And again, oh! I think Lawler's maybe stunned. C. Jill just stunned a god, if you should say. My god. I swear, it's always a treat watching C. Jill fight, because it's like, is he going to lose? Is he going at 100%? Like, holy fuck. Because it's just insane. I don't know why he's like this. I don't know what I did. I, create, I like Frankenstein. I created a monster. Oh, big heel kick. My God, he is just, oh my God. This this is a squash match. This is 100% a squash match. <laughs> Lawler needs to do something at this point. If not, the match is so far gone. It's not even giving 10%. Honestly, I think so. Oh wait, okay, hold on, wait a minute. Could this be the rally that Lawler needs? Oh, holy shit, he got, he actually got C. Jill spinning there. Oh, we got a two count off C. Jill. Could this be enough? Look at this. 
Right now, again, I think he's just trying to wear down C. Jill, but C. Jill, C. Jill, I don't even know his limits. I don't know his stamina. Honestly, I thought we saw it at Hellfire against Super, but he was still able to go. Super was just worn out. I don't know. Ooh. Little shot there. Now it looks like Lawler's now looking to do some type of damage to the YouTube champion. And I mean, it's keeping him down. Oh, a show of disrespect to see Jill. Oh, look at this. Looks like Lawler's looking to make a comeback here tonight. Look at the rally. He's starting to feel it. He's starting to feel it. Oh. And with that, he got the YouTube champion down, and now he's in the corner. Also, for the month of October, I will be giving all my characters a Halloween attire. Yeah, no problem. Oh, Lawler was looking to get a little bit more advantage there, but see, Jill's still just coming straight up at it. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Father's blessing to Jake Lawler. Is that enough? One, two, no. Jake Lawler kicks out. I think C. Jill's a little surprised. I don't think he expected Lawler to kick out a father's blessing. Oh, gets hit out with a heel kick. It looks like the crowd's loving it. The crowd's saying, fight forever. Father Sins! He hits Father Sins. Is that enough to put down Jake Lawler? Yes, it is. Holy fuck. What did I do to this guy? Literally, what did, what did, what did I do for CGL to be this fucking monstrous? Like, holy fuck. He's not supposed to be this good. <laughs> and with that, CGL is 7-0 in PXT. <laughs> oh my god. Because that was like, who the fuck can challenge the guy? <laughs> You know this is like shocking me as much because normally I'd already be like, oh, thank you guys for watching. Peace out. Take care. I'm legit shocked. <laughs> so, but yeah. Either way, if you guys did enjoy this video, though, uh, like, subscribe, share this video to our guys. I don't even know what I said, but either way, like, subscribe, share this video to our guys enjoyed and share it with your friends. And again, if you guys have characters for WW2K23, go ahead and... Uh, Put them under the PXT hashtag. We'll check them out tomorrow. And then next thing you know, you guys will be in PXT. We'll do a division match for new characters. And then they'll be either in the YouTube title shot or the PXT title shot. Either way, take care, guys. Have a great night. I'm out. Peace out, guys.